Just look at that. You know, I need to move from here. Do you hear that? Oh, ha ha ha. Oh. Hey yo, what's up guys? Good morning and welcome back to yet another video. So guys, today's video is gonna be quite interesting because I'm at a village called Sidigima, uh, which is situated at the outskirts of Timabur. So my main purpose of coming to this village is because uh, there's this beautiful waterfall here in this village. So I came all the way from Dimabur just to see this uh, beautiful waterfall. So I actually uh, got down uh, there at the highway and from here, uh, you know, I need to trek up to the waterfall. All right guys, so this is where uh, the actual trek to the waterfall starts. You have to uh, take this route. Alright guys, so let me give you some information about this waterfall. So basically this waterfall is called Triple Falls. Uh, probably you might have heard about it uh, or not, I'm not sure. Uh, but it's one of the most popular uh, tourist destinations here in Dimapur. And incidentally, this is my first time to the waterfall. So I'm not sure how it's going to be at this time of the year because it's the man of Chan and it's still winter. So probably we might not get to see much of waterfall this time around. Uh, but we'll find that out, all right? Uh, meanwhile, I'm gonna show you the view of the road as you can see uh, Everywhere you see greenery a lot of bamboos here as you can see These are all bamboos and Even this side you see a lot of bamboos So that's the highway where we came from so far the track is easy and it's proper road although the condition of the road is not very good but it's a moderable road you know vehicles can fly through this road and probably reach to the waterfall also but i'm not sure because uh, i have not been before so i'm not sure how far uh, the road goes uh, but we are gonna find that out i am not even sure how long it's gonna take me to reach the waterfall but let's find that out we are going to find everything out in this in this video so stay tuned check this view just look at that it's beautiful so far i haven't met a single person on the way and it's 10 a.m right now so maybe that's why later in the afternoon or evening time probably there will be more people but right now, I'm the only person uh, around here. So many banana trees around here. Uh, but these are all wild bananas, okay? So I'm not sure whether they are edible or not, but just look at that. All right, guys, so I have trekked for almost an hour now, and I found this nice uh, resting set here on the way. So as you can see, uh, if you are tired, you can just uh, haul here for a few minutes and you can take rest and then you can continue on your way. I think this is the entry point. I see some notice here. Let's check what is written. Triple fall has been sealed for pandemic. I think this is an old notice. Uh, so yeah guys, I think this is the, uh, you know, Point from where uh, we'll have to start the actual trek to the waterfall so yeah let's move in okay great uh, these plants look like betel nut plants guys just look at the background behind me it's beautiful the view around here is just breathtaking guys it's just amazing I hope the waterfall would be no less than this so let's find that out guys look at those beautiful flowers well guys look what I found here so I think this is the viewpoint let's get on it and find out what we can see from here so this is actually the viewpoint 
So from here you can get a very nice view of the surrounding area as you can see. So that's the waterfall. So I think to get to the waterfall, uh, we'll have to take that path. Uh, I can see the way down there. So we'll have to walk all the way down and get there. So yeah guys, let's do that. Let's get to the waterfall. So far we have walk on the flat surface now it's gonna be a steep climb downhill but we can do it guys so be very careful because you might slip and fall it's a very thick jungle by the way what is that some stream but uh, the water is all dried up now well guys look what I found here I think this used to be a stream or a brook uh, but the water is all dried up now I can hear the sound of the waterfall you know hitting the rocks so we are almost here well guys, I'm gonna sit here for a while because I'm completely exhausted now. Hey, what's that? A house in the middle of the jungle? Alright, let's get in and explore the place and see what we can find. Ah, well, look at that guys. It's all in the... Ah. Wow, look at that. Shit, just check that out. You know, why would anyone build such a house in the middle of the jungle? Wow. Look, it's all ruined now. You know, I don't know why he built, you know, this house in the first place. But look at that. Everything is ruined. I see all these markings, names and everything, Ganesh, I don't know what all is written on the wall. Let's just look at that. It could be a haunted house also, who knows. Shit, yeah. Just look at that. You know, I need to move from here. You know, who knows, it could be a haunted place also. Anyway, uh, we are going to move out from here now. You know, I don't want to stay here for long. You know, anything can happen. So, let's get out from here. Just look at that. I think we have just reached the waterfall. Wow, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. So guys, welcome to the Triple Falls. I think we should go up. So this is the first waterfall, the second and the third. So we are gonna go to the top and see uh, the view from there also. So I guess uh, this is the way to the top. All right guys, so we are gonna move from here. And it's gonna be a steep climb as you can see. Let's do it guys. Let's do it. You know, nothing is impossible, you know. If you have decided to do something, anything is possible. So, let's move up from here. But I need to be very careful because, uh, you know, uh, the path is very difficult. The trail is very difficult as you can see. So, I'm gonna uh, just keep recording. So, you are able to see uh, everything. Look at that. 
Look at that. Wow. Wow. I came all the way from Dimavu just to do this. Alright. Alright. Let's do it. Let's do it. Did something fall fall off from my back? I don't think so. Oh I found a bite. Oh, thank God. So at least I found something to hold on. Alright guys, we are almost there. We are almost there. Shit. Oh. We are getting there guys, we are getting there. See all these fallen trees. But it's good. At least I'm getting something to uh, hold on to, right? Wow. Wow. Wow, look at that. Look at that. The mud is a little slippery at few places. Oh wow guys, we have reached. We have reached. Oh ha ha ha. Oh. So check that out guys. Shit. My head is spinning man just looking at the so this is the first fall. Uh, this is the second fall as you can see and that's the third fall so that's why this waterfall uh, has been named triple falls because there are three falls one after the other and just look at the beautiful view behind me guys it's it's just breathtaking guys it's just breathtaking wow look so we came from there actually you know we came all the way from there so that's the viewpoint as you can see so we came all the way we came down and then uh, we came all the way up all the way up here and that's where we are at right now uh, but just look at the view guys you know although it was tiresome but it was worth it guys it was worth it even you guys should you know visit uh, this place uh, you know sometime it's beautiful it's beautiful so that's a haunted house i don't know whether it's a haunted house but i'm just calling it haunted so that's where the house was and just look at the view ah, my head is spinning i might fall down if i stay here any longer so i'm gonna move away from the edge and i'm gonna uh, walk towards uh, the waterfall and show you uh, a closer look wow look at that look at that so we have got a wooden bridge here and be careful while walking uh, through this and you can see the water it's like a small bone it's the winter time because of which uh, the water has dried up so the volume of water is very less as you can see just look at that all right guys so i'm gonna get down the rocks are very slippery i should take some photos now Alright guys, so this is it, you know, this is what I came here for and this is what I wanted, you know, in the midst of nature, all around you. So, yeah, I cannot put into words what I'm feeling right now, uh, because no one can, uh, it can only be felt. So, yeah, 
come here guys come here and just engulf yourself in nature and you know be a part of nature so yeah wherever you are be with nature guys be with nature so that's all i have to say guys peace There are a lot of bamboos around here in this jungle. You see? Those are all bamboos. There are other plants also. So over here you see all these trees. And there are few banana plants also, as you can see. Those are all wild banana plants. Uh, but over there, uh, there are quite a number of bamboo plants and over there i see a lot of banana plants you know mostly you know that patch of uh forest is covered by banana plants only and in this part there are a lot of other plants also i see a lot of big big trees big and tall trees see Alright guys, so that's the triple four for you. You know, I think I have covered everything that I had to cover in this uh, video of this place. So there's nothing more to show uh, because I showed everything. So yeah guys, that's it. And I'm gonna head back home now. So yeah, let's move. Alright guys, so we are on the way back to the return trail. Guys, it's gonna be a uh, little more riskier than climbing up because you know it's a steep slope so I need to be very careful fortunately I'm able to find you know all these bamboos to hold on to otherwise it's gonna be next to impossible you know to come uh, up and down this trail all right check that out guys it's gonna be difficult here did you see that I just kept, you know, slipping down. My food is all gone now. It's all bruised. Finally, we are back to the base of the waterfall. So, as you can see, we have just got back here. So this is the base of the waterfall so we were up there before not that above that so this is what the view of the waterfall looks like from here all right guys so finally before we leave this place uh, we are gonna bid farewell to this beautiful place as you can see so this is going to be our last side of this beautiful waterfall and before we leave let us just cherish this moment bye so yeah guys this is it this is the last moment that i'm here in this place so yeah guys now i'm gonna head back home so yeah let's move i don't know how i am gonna be once i reach the top I'll be completely exhausted. I'm already so exhausted right now. Guys, just look at this beautiful place. So it is all bamboos as you can see. And it looks so beautiful. Wow. Just look at that. The bamboos are all intertwined to each other. It looks so cool.
This is the beauty of nature guys, this is the beauty of nature. Wow, look at that. Alright guys, so we are finally back to the uh, house. So as you can see, it's all green. Well guys, let's bid farewell to this place also. Because I don't think I'm gonna come here again. So this is gonna be our uh, last time here together. So yeah, bye. Bye house. That's it guys. Why would anyone build this house in the middle of nowhere? It's a very thick jungle and there could be wild animals also. So I need to be very careful. Hey, I saw a bird. The bird was here. You know, while coming down it was quite easy, but now it's gonna be very difficult because it's a steep climb now. I'm gonna be in a very bad step once I reach the top. But I'm gonna do it anyway because there's no other way. You know, I need to get back home and I need to edit this video and upload for you guys, right? So, yeah. I think there's some stream over there. Let's go and check if we can find some water to drink. Man, it's all dried up, man. See, there's not a drop of water. So, guys, that's the waterfall where we had been to just a few moments ago, and it's still looking so beautiful even from far away. Just look at that. It's beautiful. We are almost back to the viewpoint. So that's the viewpoint as you can see. We had been there before but I'm not gonna stop there now. Guys, I actually didn't want to stop here but I couldn't resist myself because I found this amazing view of the valley from where I'm at right now. I'm sure even you're gonna love it. So check it out. Check that out guys. I can even see the sun there. It's gonna be even more beautiful during the sunset. Just look at that. Alright guys, so finally we are back to the entry point from where the actual trek to the waterfall starts. Uh, from here it's gonna be quite an easy trek now because it's proper moderable road now. Uh, as you can see. So that's the road we are we are gonna take towards the highway and I don't know where this road leads to but yeah this is where we go and yeah this is the entry point. Alright guys so before I leave I am just gonna share a little bit of information that I hope uh, might find useful uh, for you guys if you are planning to uh, visit this place. So, you know, you can come up to this uh, point uh, via your own car or you can even hire uh, a taxi or you can even come uh, via rickshaw and you'll have to get down here uh, if you're coming uh, on a vehicle and from here the actual uh, trek to the, you know, waterfall starts and the trek is quite easy, uh, it's a downward slope from there so while going it's gonna be quite easy but while coming up you know, uh, it's gonna be quite tiresome because you know, you'll have to climb back up again. So yeah, that's a bit of information I hope you guys might find useful. Uh, so yeah guys, that's all about this place. Now I'm gonna head back home. So this is the road that I'm gonna take all the way to the highway. So yeah, let's get going. Also one more thing guys, uh, you know, the trek uh, from the entry point to the waterfall is a mixed bag, you know, depending on when you are coming. So if you are coming during the summer, especially during the, you know, monsoon season, uh, during the rainy season, uh, it's going to get very difficult uh, because, you know, uh, the trek to the waterfall is quite sloppy, it's downward while going and while uh, coming back, it's going to be, you know, a steep climb. So 
you know, if it's raining, the mud is going to get very wet and it's going to get slippery. So, uh, you know, th the drag is going to be very difficult. So if you're coming during the summer, uh, I suggest you wear some proper shoes so that you get a proper grip, you know, on the, you know, on the path. So, yeah, that's one thing. And if you're coming during the winter season, it's not going to be very difficult uh, because the land is very dry. So it's going to be quite an easy trek. Do you hear that? The sound of the birds chirping. It's coming from there. See? Oh, uh, by the way, it's a very thick jungle as you can see. See, the birds are chirping. And the sound is coming from that side. See? And you know, I don't hear any other sound other than the sound of, sound of the birds and uh, the bustling sound of the leaves. Hey, did you see that? Hey, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. It was a big squirrel, guys. Hey, hey, did you see that? Hey, hey, hey. See? It went that way. Actually, the squirrel came from that side. And I don't know how it managed to jump from there to here. And then, it just vanished. There are a lot of small animals around here. You know, squirrels, rats, birds, and other, you know, small animals. You know, I am hearing sound of... Uh, from all around, you know, of the birds and the squirrels moving and running around. Guys, look at this place. By the way guys, it's 3 p.m. right now and I had left home at around 9 a.m. in the morning. So it's been already six hours since uh, I have been to this place and it's gonna get dark uh, in some time. So by 4.30 or 5 p.m. it's gonna get very dark so by that time you know uh, there's very high chance of wild animals coming out you know from the jungle to prey because you know this is a very big jungle so there are quite a lot of wild animals around here in this jungle so i need to uh, walk fast and get to the highway as quick as possible so let's do that this part of the road is very beautiful <laughs> with plants on both sides of the road Looks like a natural bollywood. Alright guys, so we are almost here now. Uh, I can even hear the sound of the vehicles flying on the highway. So, a bit more distance to cover and we'll get to the highway. So, let's keep walking. As you can see, the sun is also about to set now. And I can already see houses around there. So... We are back to civilization, guys. Look at all these houses around here, guys. So this is actually a village. This is a city Gima village. And you can see the sun setting down. I'm so glad that I visited the waterfall. You know, I knew about the waterfall from a very long time, but, you know, I didn't... Uh, actually get time to visit before but uh, I'm happy that finally uh, I made it and this memory is gonna stay for a lifetime and also you guys will be able to experience through the video we are finally back to the point where we started so this is uh, from where we started our journey and this is the way towards the waterfall and this is the signboard and guys this is the way towards the highway it's good that i managed to get back to the highway uh, before the sunset because you know otherwise it's gonna get very risky once the sun goes down uh, in this jungle you know a lot of wild animals uh, so yeah happy that I'm finally back to the civilization. Alright, so I'm gonna wait for some means of transport here across the highway. So, yeah, let's do that. 
well 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 guys finally we are back at the highway and i'm gonna head back to my home from here uh, and with that i'm gonna end this video also here only i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you enjoyed it please do subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up to this video uh, i'll see you very soon in my next video until then you guys stay safe and take care bye bye and peace